uh, it's a great privilege for me to be here uh, and to honor these three heroes who all contributed so much uh, to public health in India. Uh, of course, two of the awardees, uh, Dr. Punawala and Dr. Mazumdar Shah, have developed important vaccines and drugs that have made a huge difference in millions of lives. Uh, this really is something that's not only impacted, impacted India, but the entire world. Uh, Dr. Prakash Amte has served in remote tribal villages doing amazing research and clinical services for underserved populations. And it really, his example uh, is very inspiring and helps us to understand what we need to do uh, to improve health equity worldwide. Uh, the Gates Foundation uh, is very focused on, on health and we've had an excellent partnership with the government of India, uh, both through the Ministry of Health, uh, health and the Department of Biotechnology uh, to really do research on those diseases uh, that affect the poorest in the world. Um, we're very excited about what we've achieved, uh, but there's so much more to do. Uh, we have to uh, improve malnutrition. Uh, we have to get vaccines uh, and better drugs for tuberculosis, malaria, and neglected diseases. And all of those things I'm very optimistic about uh, because of the partnerships we have, uh, both with the private sector uh, here in India and uh, with the government, particularly uh, ICMR. The Department of Health Research, uh, which, uh, under which ICMR resides, is doing some key work on the assessment of clinical interventions. And the newly informed Medical Technology Assessment Board will play a critical role in expanding coverage of healthcare for the bottom of the pyramid. I, I'm really encouraged by this approach of health technology assessment uh, being adopted by the DHR, uh, which will really standardize uh, uh, practices. You know, India's made a, a huge contribution. Uh, the Make in India initiative, uh, you know, I think the exemplar of that really is the vaccine industry, uh, where Serum makes more vaccines uh, than any other company in the world. And, you know, we've worked together with them on a number of breakthrough products, including some uh, that will come out in the next uh, few years. Uh, last year alone, uh, three new vaccine products from India received approval from the World Health Organization uh, and uh, were procured, procured by UN agencies and Gavi. And, you know, vaccines alone uh, are the biggest reason why childhood death uh, has been cut in half uh, over the last uh, 20 years. You know, it's really an amazing achievement. And in fact, uh, through partnerships like the ones being discussed today, we have a chance to cut those deaths in half again. So we've gone from 10 million a year uh, to now 5 million a year. And by 2030, if things go well, particularly with new tools and uh, better primary health care systems uh, in all these countries, we'll be able to get it down to 2.5 million a year. Uh, now, even that, you know, we, we won't stop at that. Uh, that's a little less than a 2% death rate. Uh, but, of course, in rich countries, uh, we're down below 1%. And so we'll still have another factor of two uh, to achieve really the ultimate goal, which is health equity. No matter where a children's, child is born, it shouldn't affect uh, whether they live or die. Uh, perhaps e equally important, uh, no matter where a child is born, they should develop physically and mentally uh, fully and so the big challenges of, of malnutrition, uh, including wasting and stunting, are still in front of us. A lot to understand, a lot to do uh, before all the children uh, can achieve their full potential unaffected by uh, malnutrition. Uh, India is a pioneer in, in so many things. I just came back uh, from Bihar, which is a uh, area that uh, we've been in partnership with the state government there for some time. And, you know, it's pleasing that uh, over the last decade, their vaccine coverage rate uh, has more than doubled uh, now to well over 80 percent. Again, we're not, you know, stopping there. It should, you know, we should be able to get it up uh, to 95 percent plus, but still quite amazing. And of course, that coverage includes a lot of these amazing new vaccines uh, uh, so that the childhood health improvements are even greater uh, in the uh, northern states uh, than anywhere. 
So let me just close by saying that uh, working in health, uh, you know, wasn't my original career, uh, but in, in seeing the huge injustice uh, of the disease pattern, uh, my wife Melinda and I made it our, our top priority. And in doing that, I, you know, I didn't know uh, all the great people I'd met, meet or all the great institutions I'd get to work with. Uh, but a lot of you here in ICMR have made uh, the health work that I do both uh, very rewarding and uh, I look forward to several more decades of incredible progress in global health working together. Thank you.